Hello there, let's get on with the damn show. Let's get it going. The Nintendo Switch is coming out soon, so let's run through the pros and cons before you buy the latest Miyamoto wet dream. If you've bought one or have one already, and have finished gloating on social media because you got a bit of plastic a few days early, I hope you were smart enough to take a week off work so you can avoid playing Breath of the Wild while in work and getting fired as a result. The unemployment rate always seems to rise when Nintendo shell out a new console. So you can play games when you're out pretending to walk your dog or randomly dropping in on roof parties, but for how long? Is it even powerful enough to run big titles on the go? I'm gonna say that if it's only got an expected 2-3 to three hour portable lifespan, you're probably gonna be paying out your arsehole to keep it alive. Whether that's by charging the thing all the time or buying add-ons that improves its functionality. Plus, this looks stupid. Who's gonna crown around a 6 inch screen to play basketball when you're already playing basketball? Not me, although that might be because I don't play basketball and I have no friends. I'm never convinced when big companies cater to mobile gaming, this is supposed to be the console to rival the big boys. Nintendo have come out to say that they're not trying to compete with Sony and Microsoft, and I believe them, but that's like saying you're not going to aggravate a lion when you're trying to take its cubs away. <laughs> I'm going to give practicality an SD card not included out of 10. But all is not lost, Breath of the Wild should tie you over and make you forget about those niggly problems, but uh, what else is there? You got Bomberman, I guess, Just Dance 2017, Mobile Skyrim with no mods, Little Inferno, come on that was a Wii U launch title for fuck's sake. That being said, would I buy a Switch for a new Zelda game alone? Yes, because I'm a Zelda fanboy, I'd be a fool to deny it. I completed the Ocarina of Time Master Master Quest Edition thing. This was my wallpaper for a whole year for crying out loud. Gay. There is backwards compatibility to some extent. The Virtual Console add-on's a great idea, but it's not available on release. Third party support looks good. Apart from those. So what else is there? Well there's a free online subscription service at launch, there is a stream option but no Netflix for all you millennial cucks, and we all know Nintendo's stance on streaming Nintendo related content or using their IPs in any shape or form, I'm still gutted for Pokemon Uranium. The online subscription won't always be free, and while it is offering old games monthly it's on a rotation period, which means you won't be able to own them digitally, which in my opinion is pretty dumb. And the controllers charge separately from the system while it's portable, which again is a pain in the ass. We shouldn't need charge grips in this day and age, I mean I was fine with memory cards and rumble packs back in the day, but this is 2017, damn it! Enough with the add-ons, it's like buying a blow up sex doll without an ass and its legs are missing. As a man in a suit imitating a blue slowpoke, I'm bound to be skeptical of gimmicks. But let me know what you think. Are you firmly invested in Nintendo, or are you gonna wait? Will we be giving the Switch a miss altogether? Let us know in the comments. In any case, at least it's not another Virtual Boy. It needs your eyes. Duh! If you're like me and more concerned about how our planet's becoming unsustainable and running out of resources rapidly, which is more of a pressing issue than when the next Smash comes out, I guess, you'll be pleased to know NASA have discovered a bunch of Earth-like planets called Trappist-1 planets named after the telescope that discovered them. Before you start burning plastic and spraying deodorant into the precious ozone layer like you just don't care, one should take into consideration that most of these plants probably have kinks that make them hard to populate, such as a lack of water, large amounts of radiation, or giant human-eating aliens, I, I suppose. But according to NASA, the James Webb Telescope that will launch in 2018 will teach us more about the TRAPPIST-1 system, including whether or not water, methane and the all-important oxygen are present within the atmosphere. It's a very cool discovery, I mean NASA may be discovering new planets all the time, but these ones might actually be habitable. Which means my great 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 grandkids could be eating space cows in the future. A lot of people on Twitter have come up with names for the seven new planets using the hashtag seven names for seven new planets because NASA's names for them, as you probably guessed, are boring as fuck. Speaking of space, if you haven't seen the prologue trailer or the official trailer for Alien Covenant, you should because unlike Prometheus, this Ridley Scott attempt at a classic looks good, or at least mildly better. Then there's the gameplay trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda. Looks like it ain't just rooms full of boxes and barriers for cover-based shooting anymore, which is a definite plus. 
And of course, the final trailer for the new Power Rangers movie came out this week, and from what I've seen, I think the movie itself is gonna be a big pile of shit. I sincerely hope not, but it looks like a generic Transformers ripoff, which is the route I knew they were gonna take in all honesty. The 2015 short film would have been a much better concept, but hey, that's not gonna sell action figures now, is it? If you wanna check out everything I just mentioned for yourself, links are in the description below. Duh! Is that a shame? Shame. Shame on you, Quabble Cop, for your channel and all your videos. And uh, we should start that one again. Shame on you, Quabble Cop, for that ridiculous intro to that video talking about the death of your father. I have something to talk about. Unfortunately, I just got the call that my dad has now passed away. <laughs> what the fuck was that, you goddamn retard? I know it's not your fault entirely, but you had to have seen the video before you uploaded it. And you should seriously fire whoever edited this for being such an idiot. My dad's dead, let's go get a McDonald's, look at my girlfriend's tits. Quabble Cop, you're a piece of shit. Who else has been a cunt recently? Oh yeah, JK Rowling, shame on you. Stop virtue signaling all over social media. No one gives a fuck about what you have to say unless it's Harry Potter related. You're the one who likes dressing up like a Nazi, so pack it in, you filthy bitch. Right, yeah, now that, now that that's out the way, the good stuff. Yeah, man, that's the good stuff. Props go out to Lamp Desu and his charity livestream for the Special Effects Organization, a charity that helps the less abled experience video games through the advancement of technology. It's all for a great cause, and we salute you for doing it, Lamp Desu, and hope it went well. If I had money, I would have donated, but I'm pretty poor, so consider this the least I could do. Well, the least I could do is nothing, but... I, uh, I, uh, I forgot what I was gonna get out there. Do you like pandas? Of course you do! This video from iPanda will most definitely cheer you up. If it doesn't, I mean there's something deeply wrong with you. I mean, just look at this little fucker, it'd make a poacher cry. Oh, and in typical fashion, the poster child for clickbait, Dev, announced he's quitting. Double uploads, because he has to concentrate on school. Yes! Yes! Maybe everyone's finally wising up to his terrible content. Either way, his channel's dying, so that's good news as far as I'm concerned. As a special little segment, at the end of every month we get to pick a channel that we've discovered and give them props because why the hell not already? This month we're looking at a channel that's autistic. Incredibly autistic that is. This is Fitch TV. Say hi Fitch. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself Fitch? Oh I love Alla. I was a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. I love Muhammad too. So what can people expect when they check out your videos? I mean, you're a pretty funny guy, so can you give us a joke? Don't you just love being rich and white when you can afford anything you fucking want? Dude, I love doing that. But unfortunately, there's just people that are called black people. So I have to ask you, what do you think about people that wear socks and sandals? What the fuck is this shit? I couldn't agree more. That shit is ugly as all sin. So do you have any advice you can offer people who are looking to become content creators? Intro static, then pink static, then more static, then blackness! I love drugs! Fantastic. But seriously, if you love self-deprecation and some of the best green screen magic you'll ever see in your entire life... Oh, there's some dicks right there. Well, this is... Hey, hey, no wonder dicks. It's some... Still some 60 frames per second dicks. Go check out Fitch TV and subscribe to the little bastard. I will, uh, give you the suck. If you feel like committing suicide afterwards, just watch the panda video again. That's all for today. There's gonna be new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday to keep you up to date with whatever it is I feel like talking about. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I mean, you can say anything you like and I'll probably respond because I have no life. Anything else you want to add, Fitch? Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. <laughs>